it's G and welcome back to another video. If it is your first time ever seeing my face and hey it girl hey, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom to join the G gang. And if you are back for another video, then hey girl, let's get started. This video is going to be about all the tea. So it's gonna be the first sip and tea Sunday. So grab your drink and let's go over all the tea that happened throughout the week. So the first sip and tea that we're gonna talk about is Chris Sales and Savvy. They were a YouTube couple doing each other and making videos every dang day until they broke up. Now, there was a lot of speculations as to why they broke up, but nobody really knew about what actually happened until Savvy just recently spoke out. I'm like, no, I'm not giving you my phone or whatever. Then he starts putting his hands on me, trying to really grab my phone. Like, what are you doing? So he's like, bro, this nigga stole me on the floor. He's like trying to do all this just to get my phone. He's dead ass grabbing me, putting his hands on me, doing all this extra shit. He's screaming, like telling him, like, you're hurting me, my nigga. You're like, you're really hurting me. Like, bro, I'm like on the floor, my arm twisted behind my back. He's gripping me the fuck up. So he turns the fuck up. He's throwing me around the bathroom. But I just look up, I see CJ. But yes, guys, you heard that right. She said that she was basically abused by Chris Sales. She said that she was trying to get her phone, whatever. You guys heard the whole video about the what had happened anyway. Sales came back and said these are all not true. So yes, guys, she said she dropped everything for him. She gave him not half of the money and abused her basically. So we're waiting to hear back. Chris tells that this says this isn't true. Savvy dropped pictures of her bruises. Chris claims that those were from the fight that she was in. And she dropped the pictures and it's definitely not the date that the fight was so who really are we to believe i don't know but these are all allegations until proven otherwise next it's jeffree star him and nathan have broken up guys yes oh my god i'm so sad there's no easy way to say this but we did break up now before he had put out his video we were all speculating because nathan had deleted all his social medias and jeffrey said it was because of the fact that nathan no longer wanted to have the attention drawn onto himself and so we just took it for what it was then jeffrey had canceled on the mitchell tour for some unforeseen reason. Now, today, looking back at it, we know what the reason is. Most likely being the fact that him and Nathan have broken up. Now again, in his video, he says that it's not for any bad blood and it's not for any crazy reason like cheating or anything like that. It's just basically that he loves Nathan, but he's not in love with Nathan. And Nathan no longer wants to have this fame on himself and that is what's straining the relationship. They still love each other. Period, end of it. And that's the tea to it, guys. Next. We're talking about Money Yaya and Kentrell. Oh my fucking god. So Money Yaya, I don't know if she's Kentrell's or AKA NBA Youngboy's boo thing, girlfriend, sister wife, who knows? I don't really know what's going on with that situation, but all we don't know about that situation is that she posted a video of Kentrell talking to the wall and the caption was basically saying that it was because of depression. I my fucking dad, I, I, Yeah, they're kind of hey, like headphones. This is this one, this is this one. Hey, water, water's good. And then do it. Ah, I'm yeah, finna get back on the road. That's why I'm trying to be that position. So this is what I want you to do. When you go outside, I want you to take your time and find some nice men who you can have here tomorrow. You can put that up. And then check this out. Uh, it's gonna be real good. A lot of people came back at her and clapped back at her. Some people were saying because of the drugs. Some people said it was because of his depression. And then who really knows what it was really for. But a lot of clap back for putting that on the internet when she shouldn't have, honestly. That was a private moment that should have never been seen by anybody else but the people that were in that room. So that's dead. Yeah, so we don't know what really it is, if it's depression or drugs, until NBA Youngboy himself speaks out. And he's most likely not going to speak out. Lastly, guys, is Azrael, Clary, and Joycelyn Savage. They are the sister wives of R. Kelly and they are basically broken up at this point. They had gotten into a fight over a couple days ago and- Evil! I'm not evil, baby! I need to protect oh, myself! I need to protect you myself! Say that shit! Joy, you were sleeping on me! It's a minor! As Will had said that, Joycelyn had sex with her as an underage minor. Okay, 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 ladies, 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 ladies! 
Joycelyn has come out with her own post and said that she did not have sex with Azrael Cleary as a minor guy. So we really don't know what's going on. They're all allegations. Azrael did sign a paper that she did not have sex with R. Kelly as a, as a minor. I don't know if she just said that because she was so under the mind of R. Kelly, who knows, but yeah. And Joycelyn has said that they still never had sex as an underage, that she has never had sex with Azrael as an underage minor, so. That's that. Azrael Clary did press charges on Joycelyn. Joycelyn has also turned herself in and has been released and is basically awaiting court, I believe. And that's what's going on with that situation. So, ooh, child, there's just so much going on. Like, honey, there's too much going on with that situation. I hope that they figure it out. Azrael said that she was basically there to get Joycelyn to go home with her family. And Joycelyn was like, Apparently when she was released from the custody of the jail that she did go back to the arms of her family, I believe so. They bailed her out. Hopefully she is now back with them, who knows? But yeah, guys, that is all I have for the tea today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Hit the like button to make sure that I know that you know that I know that you guys like these segments in order for this to continue every Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed Sippin' Sunday. Like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, guys. Bye.